كثيرا من هذه النهايه شكرا جزيلا Yeah. So what if the guy threw a shoe at me? No, I consider it a important step in, 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 uh, on the road toward an Iraq that can sustain itself, govern itself, and defend itself. But let me talk about the guy throwing the shoe. Uh, it is one way to gain attention. Uh, it's, it's like going to a political rally and having people yell at you. It's like driving down the street and have people not gesturing with all five fingers. It's a way for people to draw, you know, attention. I don't know what the guy's cause is, but one thing is for certain, he caused you to ask me a question about him. I didn't feel the least bit threatened by it. Uh, these journalists here were very apologetic. They were, you know, they were you know, said this isn't, this doesn't represent the Iraqi people, but that's that's what happens in free societies where people try to draw attention to themselves. And so I guess he was effective because he caused you to say something about it. Now, in terms of the agreements, this is a major achievement. Is it the end? Absolutely not. There's more work to be done. And uh, all this basically says is we've made, we've made good progress and we'll continue to work together to achieve peace. That's what we want. Freedom and peace. And so, no, I, I'm, 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 I'm honored to be back here. It's my fourth visit to Iraq and uh, as a sitting president, and I have been looking forward to this visit. Uh, it's um, it's uh, very kind of you, Mr. Prime Minister, to have invited me here.